Hello and welcome to Shannon Gardens. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So today I actually have a couple of things that I'm doing. I wanted to go to Pike Nurseries because I received an email from them and they mentioned uh, something called wave pansies, which I've never heard of. I know of standard pansies, but I've never heard of wave pansies. So of course I've got to go check that out. And I also wanted to see what they have in stock because I have an extra container and I'd like to do a little holiday display and that container as well. So I wanted to see what kind of flowers they had in stock and put that together. So let's head out and see what they've got. Look you guys, these are the Cool Wave pansies and it says that they're trailing pansies that rebloom fall to early spring, full sun. I think I'm going to grab a couple for my pots and I think it's going to be in keeping with my purple theme probably these that is so pretty i'm gonna grab a couple of these all right you guys i've been inspired i was speaking with someone who works here and they i was looking at these plants the cyclamen i believe is how you pronounce it and in my zone it will come back um it will last through the winter more than likely but if it does die off in the frost it will come back when it gets warmer so i'm gonna try that and they suggested it with the Dusty Miller here to the right. So I think that will play off nicely. And then one trailing pansy in the pot. Hey you guys, so I am ready to plant my plants. I'm super excited, uh, first of all, about this cyclamen that I got. I've never planted it before. And I think it's just, it's a beautiful plant. Um, I did read a little bit about it online and it said to make sure to water at the base, do not get the leaves wet or it could cause rot. So I'll have to be careful of that. And it also said not to overwater and not to underwater. So I will also have to pay attention to that as well. And then I'm pairing that with the Dusty Miller, which is so pretty and it has a snowy look to it. And I think that's gonna look so nice against the cyclamen and especially for the holidays. And then as my trail, um, trailing vine in that pot, I will do the trailing pansies, which also, as I've said, I've never planted that before. So I'm really excited to try these out. So let's head over and get these things planted. Okay, so I'm ready to get this container planted. I've got an existing perennial grass here, which I actually had in another container and I moved it to here. I thought it would add some nice height to my planter. And then I'll put the cyclamen in, the dusty miller, and then of course my trailing pansy, which eventually as it fills in, will trail over this pot here. So let's go ahead and get these in. Oh, one other thing I did want to mention, this is new soil that I added in here and it already has fertilizer in it. However, when I took out my old soil, it was filled with ants, which just reiterates why it's so important to make sure that you wear gloves because you never know, I would have never known that that would have been there and I would have gotten eaten up had I not had my gloves on. So just wanted to make sure to point that out to you guys as well. Okay, let's get these plants in. Okay, you guys, I think this turned out so nicely. I love the grass in the back adding to the height of the pot and then the cyclamen with the dusty miller and these trailing pansies. And I think the color combination looks really, really nice for the holidays in particular. Okay, so I picked up some other trailing pansies as well, which I'm gonna put in some of my pots where some of the flowers that are existing from the summer are done. And so I just wanna tuck these in. So I will do that. And that's this pretty, pretty purple here. But I also wanted to show you guys, as far as the regular pansies, something that I had noticed this year that I hadn't noticed in the past is that on some of the bigger containers, you can actually split these pansies if you don't want this clump. Um, if you would like to spread it out a little bit more, you can split them. I did it with a couple of mine about a week or so ago, and I will show you guys this may not be so much uh, true with the smaller packs of pansies, like the six packs that you can get sometimes. But in this particular one, I noticed that there are actually two plants here. There may be more, but I'm going to split it down the middle because I'm 
For these pansies, I'm just planning on tucking them in into little spaces in pots that I have. I don't need this big clump and it kind of spreads it out and um, it provides more color, you know, and I'm getting more use out of it um, by spreading them out and more for my money doing it that way. Now, I do have to warn you that you have to be careful. Um, it is easy to break this off. I noticed with the pansies more than when I've split other plants. So you'll want to be careful with that um, as you do it. So I will divide these and tug these in and then show you the final outcome. Okay, so I have my rather dirty shovel here and I put it against this tile so hopefully you guys can see it a little better. But I have my plant here and as I said, there's two plants actually when you split it. You can see right here, there's a split and there's one and two. And because I'm just tucking these in in different pots, I'm just going to split these two from each other and I will try to do it as carefully as possible. All right, grab my shovel, split it down. And I may be able to do the rest by hand. We will see. Yes. And there we go. And I'm going to tug these in. And uh, just for those smaller spaces where I didn't need to clump together, I just want it spread out a little bit more. So I finished tucking in my little pansies, some violas. And here you can see where I did split these violas into my pots. A lot of the pansies that I did put in actually have perennials in the pots, but they are dying off, except for this one's still blooming. Um, and so I put the pansies and violas in just to add some winter color. And then in the springtime, when these perennials come back in, then it will look really, really nice with the bed of pansies or violas underneath. I also tucked a few pansies into this pot and used an existing vine that I had. I'm not sure if this will last the winter, but I decided to go ahead and just tuck it in here as well and see how it does. Here is a pot where I planted one of my wave pansies and I have some perennials that'll come up in the spring and summer around it, but I did want to provide some color in the winter. And then as those perennials come in, as with a lot of the other pots that I planted pansies in, um, that will provide a nice bed um, underneath the perennials that do come in. Now, one thing I did want to point out is I actually did not divide these wave pansies here. Um, I didn't see an easy way to do that and I didn't want to harm my plant. So I divided the pansies where I saw a clear way to divide them and my regular pansies. However, I did not do that to these wave pansies. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am so excited about the holiday container that I planted today, as well as the wave pansies. I can't wait to see how those do. So thank you so much again. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.